Hello everyone, my name is Fresh King, and welcome to the Sinking City. This is, uh, if you guys don't know what this game is, this is actually something I'm pretty, pretty excited for. This is a Lovecraftian inspired game. But, I think it's better if you see it. Now, in this episode, I'm not gonna do webcam, I'm not gonna do a face cam. But, if you guys think that I should, because I'm not sure if it is a horror game or not, if it is a horror game, then I definitely should. I know it's gonna be some psychological stuff. Ooh. Frosty, welcome. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the sea of Oakmount, Mass. It turns out that you're... <clears throat> Suspicions, assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oak Mount, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning. The presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your annulment. And the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself. Then come to Oak Mount as soon as you can. I will wait here to help you on your way. Gordon Lee. Jalene Von De Brog. Thank you, J uh, John. Thanks, John. Oh. Okay. So it looks like I was a sailor. Oh. Yep. Okay, so it looks like we w looks like good old Charles here was a uh, the Navy. Oh boy, let me. It looks like the audio is not syncing up correctly. Let's skip this. He sounds dope. I wonder who voices him. Uh oh. Found gunpowder shell casings. Can I take the gun? Uh, let me just. Well, let me take the gun. Oh ah. Hi, buddy. Take your belongings off my ship first. Did I not? I never have to use it. Something tells me I will. There we are. Now I've taken the gun. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. Ooh. What a pleasure to finally meet this you in the like a, uh... <laughs> Nice to meet you. Johannes van der Berg. Johannes at von your service. Johannes van der Berg. I did promise to meet you the moment. Johannes. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Van der Berg. Van der Berg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But Johannes van der Berg. Welcome Ooh, to the nice proud name. city of Oakmont. Oakmont. Last now is not its finest hour. Though what? it is its mm. most important. Oh, is that so... Dude, you look like the fuck... He looks like the devil. I just want to say that. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. Okay. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakland. Mm -hmm. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton is already at the port. He has dedicated Ooh. a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Ooh. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on Yo, his glasses have reflections. Yeah, yeah what's the deal with the city? no easy task. Most maps I've found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont Yo, is no ordinary thing. place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. 
But you made it. Mr. Why do I want to go here I'm more? Sure the tides I mean, the fate would have brought you here. One unfortunately, way or it's a fictional. Is this? Mm. That's an eye-catching. I would have loved. Thank oh, you, Miss. This was read. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness <laughs> for it. Call it a personal quirk. Oh my God! No, no way. Okay, I I'm not gonna spoil anything for but for those of you who know Lovecraft lore, Mr. Vanderberg is not who he says he is. I'm just gonna say it out that. But like, oh my God! How can I find Mr. Throckmorton? That's don't worry, you can't miss him. Wow. tends to stand out. About okay. this flood. Yeah, tell it me about the flood. six months ago. Storms raged right. for several weeks. Right. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? I'll make okay. a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for Ooh. you. Ooh. There's a room in your <laughs> name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Ooh, Devil's it Reef Hotel. Sounds charming. Don't know, judge right? a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the board. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Ooh. How do you fill your days, Mr. Yeah. Rittenberg? I host a philosophy club uh -huh. for the like-minded intelligence. This man. This man. I don't... Of thought, like I don't frogs. trust him. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Than times of hardship. Alright, what, what else is yeah. Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I Okay. I the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places okay. you'll need to get to the truth. This city mm -hmm. is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a thief. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it for now, I think. Goodbye. Thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The Thank pleasure you. was mine, Mr. Reed. Okay, oh, Mr. Vanderbilt. Before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? It's Don't I, worry mm. about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Mr. Vanderberg is so sus. So there's my hotel. There's the uh, newspaper. There's the university library, police department, hospital, hospital. Oh, that's the asylum, never mind. And the city hall. Okay, let's do some lore. Strange face looks like. Lo looks very lifelike. Uh, yeah, that's a very. Okay. Alright. Johannes Vandenberg said that I need to find a person in Oak Mount in the Oak Mount Port by the name of Robert Thwartenberg. Supposedly he can help me with my visions. That oh my Lord. Hello, sir. Hello. The end sir. is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm just gonna walk away. Yo, this man is straight pimping. <laughs> this man is straight up. I don't care pimping. about excuses. 
No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. He's my an ape man. Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. I just I'm arrived a... from Boston. I was He's told an ape man. He private looks like an ape. Investigator, you say? Well, perhaps well, we can help each other. Perhaps we can help each other. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Right. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain mm. royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. If I may ask, so why do you These are so sus. What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea mm -hmm. expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking, talking gibberish, gibberish in some other language. Mm. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. The heck are Innsmouthers? I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Right. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you? My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Yeah, who are the Innsmouthers? You're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn oh, okay. city. The wow. Port. Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So what? they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. Okay. They've taken work from local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention right. that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. Okay, so Throg what so Throgmorton you you is kind of Okay, exactly friendly to me. Right, I should probably give a little Let's just heads up. I believe this takes place in like the nineteen twenties or some what have you got to lose? time. Sounds like and uh well racism. <coughs> you have a point, newcomer. It's very open in our times. Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. It is if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera. He's a literal ape man. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Okay, so. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving okay. on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred mm -hmm. inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. Was standing right in front of it. Where's the lifeboat? Mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? 
Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. Right, you'll, you'll find, find it there. there. Sweet. All right, as peace, much as you I'm enjoying the weather, a hole. Mr. It's time for me to get started. Yes. Find and also, this episode is going to de this. And be quick about it. This whole series is definitely going to cause um. <clears throat> interesting stir. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. All right. Yo. This. What happened to your door? Where's your wall, man? Use. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Use left your furnace on, too. Okay. Found shells. Oh. The book is damp and damaged, but through. clearly well cared for. Interesting. Dude. How did you manage? Oh. Okay. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, what oh, the heck just happened? Man. What the Ooh. heck was that? The police? I already told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Do you Mr. 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 Reed? hired me to find his son. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. What do you want? Yeah, tell me what happened, what happened here, buddy. Here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, okay. Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thog Morton's son. He was All unconscious. Right. Barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst and he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing. Just dreams. Jesus Christ. Dreams, Christ. Sleeping giant. A voice that called me. Oh. <sighs> oh no. That sounds familiar. Yeah, who Tell me about who, yourself. Who's you, buddy? Uh, name's Will. Will, Will? Hammond. I'm yeah, a, fisherman. a fisherman. We okay. all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. Interesting. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... No, it is not. I started fishing. It was Adam okay. Starf. Who, yeah, who is K? Who's this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. Where are all the other guys? Great. Uh, that's Paul up on the floor. Cult. K be with him. Barry's outside with Straight Mr. Straight up cult. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know yeah, what happened to Paul? Died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. Yeah, I'm I'll going to it. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. See you, Will. Please. See you, Will. Detective. Sir. Sir. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or okay. Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. <laughs> the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Mm-hmm. He doesn't... Yep. Will Ham Hammond, fisherman who lives with three other colleagues, Barry, Paul, and an 
Innsmouth are named Lewis Flynn. Will told me that Barry found the unconscious Albert Thorn Throgmonton and brought him to their house, leaving before to le before leaving to inform Robert. Albert woke up and started making horrible sounds. His hysteria seemed to spread to Will, who began to see visions similar to mine. When he recovered, he found Paul dead on the floor, and there was no trace of Albert or Lewis. He doesn't remember anything beyond that. Robert wants to find his son, Albert, who went missing on the port after returning from an expedition to the sea. He was found barely conscious by a fisherman. Alright. Mine palace! And in are an ongoing feud. There are three fishermen in the house when Albert woke up, but I only found two of them. Albert behaved strangely. Strangely, after returning from the sea, he was mad, violent, and spoke gibberish. Psychotic breakdown. Deductions. Combine clues to make deductions. Oh. Enough yet? Huh. Let's see this. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Okay, you don't got. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone Whoa. tossing it over like this. And there's there blood. There's a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Hmm. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Okay, knife. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Oh. Never seen knives like this Whoa. before. Masterful work. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. So that's what Ben's mouth looks like. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Whoa! Okay. okay. That happened. Okay, uh, reincarnation allows you to understand events that happened in the past, inspect enough evidence on the scene, and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Mark the scenes in chronological order to gain new. Take this, ape face. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so let me see. What's happening? Okay. So he came out with Lewis. He shot him. Yeah, run. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, run. Okay, so it goes. Two. Take this and three, yeah, right? Run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Ah! Okay, my sanity is not going. A fisherman. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Finn and his fellow fishermen. Okay. I can track down Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight at the house. I can track them using my... Yes! Oh, man. All right. That... Okay, so this way. Okay. Okay. What the heck are those? Those are not cats. Interesting. So the fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Interesting, interesting. Okay. May have, been, may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a rather than just drive him out. Okay. Where'd they go? Okay, they went this way then. Okay. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed All to climb right. that high. Albert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Okay, then he turned this way and ran. Where did he go next? He went through here. All right. This is this is such an interesting game. Oh, I love this. Uh, there's something in the pocket. Okay, blood stain note. Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry. I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a stay supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have gotten far. Hmm. This is... So, so... That is a floating knife. That is a float... I think that's the most terrifying thing in this game so far. <laughs> this is a staircase that leads to nowhere. Okay, let's. Let me see. So we came in here. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna like this, am I?
Oh! Okay!